This is the performance space. We have four speakers. As you can see, more or less the shape of this space here. And you'll be in, the, in this region. But you can see that we have in the corners, we have E1, 2, 3, 4. These are the beacons. So we're using beacon technology here as well. It's a Bluetooth device that communicates with your mobile devices. Now, we have two types of instruments today. I have used the system in different settings, different purposes, etc. But for this conference, I prepared two types of instruments. What I call standard and leading instruments. So today we have four standard and four leading instruments. This is leading instrument number one. This is leading instrument number two. Instrument number four. This is the standard instrument number one, or the fifth instrument. This is instrument number six. This is instrument number seven. And this is instrument number eight. So when you connect to the game, you automatically get a standard instrument. Uh, let's call these instruments your personal or your own instrument. Uh, once you're connected to, connect to the system, everybody gets a normal or standard or your own personal instrument. As I said in summary, at any given moment, one person, just one person can play one leading instrument. But because we have four uh, normal instruments and more than four pe uh, people here, playing the instruments, so we'll have more than one person playing the same normal instruments. The note set. We have note set, and this keeps changing during the performance. You, when you're playing, there is this limited amount of, of sounds that you can play. So the, your smartphones, the, they don't produce any type, any sound. They're just using as control to the sound machine that is here in my server. And the way you play, you just play by pushing the big button in the center of this your, your device, here's my uh, smartphone, there's the, the main interface. So when you tap the button, and you keep in uh, like that, so you're gonna play one note. If you roll it, you go up the scale. And if you do this moment, it goes down the scale. Whereas if you point it towards the floor, you get a softer sound. If you talk, uh, point if your device to the ceiling, and then you get a louder sound. This is how you control your, your sound. So basically the roll axis and the pitch axis of your devices. Okay? Now, how you grab a leading instrument? You know that when you connect to the system, you get your own personal instrument. But one of the objectives of the game is that you grab one of these leading instruments. So uh, we have these chairs removed and you'll be able to move around the space and you'll see that there is four numbers on uh, number one and two, three and four. The beacons are just above the numbers, so just go next to the beacons and your mobile will grab the signal from the beacon and you'll be chosen uh, according to the position you are, the region you are in the space. But how do you know that you're controlling the a leading instrument, uh, the, the, the color changes. Uh, here is it, it is black, it will turn out uh, to, to orange. So you know that you're controlling a leading instrument. And also if vibration is on, you'll get a vibration. So when you're chosen, it vibrates and it turns to orange. We're playing music, but we're also playing a game. The main objective of the game is to play music and improvise with the instruments. The second main objective is to win, of course. And now, how you get points? When you move from one region to another region, you get points. You know that you're next to a beacon because as you have this number here. So the big number corresponds to the region the beacon recognized you are in. You get points when you control any instrument. Okay? There is an algorithm that defines the, the, the number of seconds that you control the leading instrument then you get a certain amount of time to control the instrument. And after this uh, control is finished, then another person will be chosen, persons that are next to the beacon. You get more points when you control a leading instrument, and you get even more points if you control one leading instrument and then control a different leading instrument in a row. You don't get points by the number of notes you play. So if you just keep pop, 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 
that doesn't work that way. But you get points if you synchronize with other people. The idea is that we're playing together. I expect that at some point we will start to synchronize and play together. So this listen to each other. This is the, the main screen of the game. You're going to see this projected here. So you'll see the numbers. One, two, three, four, five. These are the leading instruments and the time left uh, to uh, control these instruments. Uh, so then it starts at some point, 10, 9, etc., downward uh, to zero. And that's the time. We have the time left of the whole game, and all this uh, view here, we have all the players connected to the game, and of course, uh, you have your ID. The ID is the last number of your IP address that is automatically assigned to you when you connect to it. You have your ID, you have the number of the instrument you're controlling, and you have your scores. The list is sorted by, by score. Next step, you see we have the, the main screen when you launch the app, this is the screen. Yes, and someone is making a sound.